Hey guys, it's Wicked Findings 21. How amazing is this? Like we, I finally made it up to uh, 21. Oh my God! <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I just want to show you what I've got just recently. I've been really spending a lot of money on Christmas versus uh, versus Wicca stuff for myself. So it's all about the giving, and uh, it's all about the receiving. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, um, as you can hear, my voice is kind of off, kind of raspy, kind of, I'm going through an, I want to say sinus infection. It feels more sinusy, more than anything. It feels like my head is about to pop off versus anything else. But anyways, I want to show you off my little collection. I'm using it, uh, my phone right here. Um, so I got a, and, um, Blah, blah, blah. Eucalyptus, I think that's how you pronounce it. I, I'm really bad at pronouncing words, obviously. Um, fragrance oil. It is, um, I want to little talk about a little bit about this after, uh, about, um, after I announce everything. But I got an oil for $3. I got, okay, if anyone's into hookah or has a hookah store near them or anything that does with hookah, this is the best tongs for those charcoals um, because they're bent. It as you can see, they're kind of bent to go with the the disc, and uh, they're amazing. Um, go to a hookah lounge or whatever they sell hookahs and charcoals and stuff, and pick this up. Like it's the best. It's better than having the scissors to hold the charcoal disc, uh, this, or the um, or um, I've seen people use their hands. I've seen people actually using uh, food tongs. I've seen people use uh, spoons. That is a really the ghettoest way ever. And I've seen people holding it with tin foil, which I don't understand about the tin foil, but I've physically seen it, and it's not cool. So this is really cool. I had to pick it up, and it came with this little tiny little spoon, which I think it's more for geared towards hookah more than anything, but... Um, I think it's so cool because you can actually grab a little bit of your loose incense and just sprinkle some onto uh, the disc, and that's a really good portion size. And I end up getting the disc. Um, I need some more. You can never, ever, ever have too many of these, in my opinion. I got this book. It's basically ribboned, three different colors. Actually, four different colors, sorry. One, two, three, four. And my favorite colors. It goes green, it goes a light green, it goes like a dark pale uh, green, and it goes uh, turquoise or teal. And it goes all the way around. It has a little ribbon on the side. I was really debating if I should use this as my journal or use this as just thoughtful things. But I keep it next to my bed at all times because I want to see it that one moment when I wake up and I know what to do with it. Um, also what hangs out near my bed is The Myth of Avalon. I recently bought this book, and this book is kind of pricey online for my for my flavor to get it. Um, but after I got this book, and when I was talking to uh, a friend of mine, she was saying that she has a couple other books uh, that later down the road of this person uh, ended up writing, Marion and Aaron writing. She wrote uh, the previous uh, books, and how did how did um, the High Priestess got to the here, and, and even be before that, before she was born, of uh, the High Priestess in here. I'm 125 page in. Um, I just pick it up, and I'll just read one chapter, and so far, it's actually worth it. I think it says right here, it says $8.79. I think I only paid $3 for it. It was really brand new until I got a hold of it and I bend a corner. Don't want to bend the corner. And then I got this. What's in this bag is that bag for I think it was $4 of sage. And um and it's at this bead shop um, above the stairs, uh, above above my uh, tarot card job place. Um, and the owner of that uh, the owner of the bead store, she's I would like to say a closet a closet Wiccan or a closet witch because most of her 
most of her um, her uh, customers are, have Christianity roots in them. So, um, so basically, she kind of wants to stay. Um, she wants to stay really, really uh, open, I guess, to please both religions. She has quite a few wicked stuff, and this is where I bought these at right here. Uh, the sage and the charcoal, and the, that's where I bought them at her shop and everything. And uh, she's, I don't know how to describe her. I only met her twice. But you can tell she's witchy. Um, she's really fanatic over tarot cards. And I'm surprised that she hasn't approached me, but then again, she's a very, very passive Leo, which is typical to some Leos. But, um, yes. I want to talk about the fragrance oil. And uh, I just got done talking to, uh, um, it's good to talking to uh, a really good friend of mine's uh, daughter that works up there. I was telling her that uh, don't ever, ever burn these fragrance oil on a candle. Um, from personal experiences, I rubbed a fragrance oil uh, that's meant to, that's meant to be to burn in oil um, in an oil burner or set for potpourri style. Um, to not burn them on a candle because um, the candle will be just like a firework. And um, the difference between fragrance oil vers uh, versus uh, um, essential oils is that essential oils can be diluted or, of all of all else, you can actually use it straight, pure essential oils on candles. And it won't at night. But these fragrance oils are only meant for one thing or two things only is to be burned under an oil burner or cooked on a potpourri uh, <laughs> pot. I would just advise you guys strongly that if you um, do that, be, be very cautious about using certain oils on candles. Um, if all else fails, I usually use, if I'm going to use oils into my candle, into any smells, I usually oil the object versus oiling that candle, but it's all about preference here. Um, but yeah, I thought I had to do Wicca um, findings, 21, <laughs> a good age to drink here in the States. Um, but yeah, I did it, I decided to do it through my phone because I didn't want to mess with the computer and whatnot. Anyways, um, bless it be.